Hi guys. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do um, kind of like paper collage uh, pet portraits, but on Procreate. Um, for this specific one, I used um, all of some of Van Gogh's uh, paintings. Um, I just bought the digital paper pack on Etsy, but you can use like old recipes or old newspaper ones or, you know, polka dots or whatever you want to do. So, um, to begin, um, this is what it's going to look like. This is, um, a pet portrait. This is the cat that I did to make it look like this. I just wanted to show you what it would look like before we started. And I already loaded all of my papers that I, digital papers that I want to use here just to make it quicker. Um, so whatever digital papers you decide to use or you could take your own pictures, you upload them here. And then I got my pet portrait. And then I just use the selection tool and I freehand select around it. And then you copy and paste and then it would paste it for you. So that's how I got to this point. Right here. And once you get your pet here, what we're going to do is, let me put this over here so you can look at it. Okay, we're going to do the background, the background very last. So we're going to turn the opacity of our pet, the actual photo, down a little bit. To like 69, 70%. Um, I'm on a 2500 by 2500 canvas, but it doesn't really matter what size canvas you want to do this for. Okay, and then to start, we're just going to, let's see, pick what color. So she has some grays here, so I'm going to pick a color for the grays. And for that one, I'm going to use this right here. And I want to keep these all here so I can go back and keep using them for different spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the one that I want to use. And I'm going to turn it on to visible. And then I'm going to use the duplication to cut out. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller to get the textures that I want. Let's put it right about here. Like that. Then I'm going to go to my selection tool. When I'm on that duplicated layer, I'm going to select out the gray areas of her. So. Let's do, we'll do the whole body first. Okay. Let's do it down here. So she has a little gray patch down here. Then I'm going to hit copy and paste. And then if you turn off the big layer and turn off the cat layer, you can see that's what it's going to look like right there. But we'll look at that in a second. So I copy and pasted that. So I'm going to turn on the big layer again, go back to the big layer and do the next spot. Selection tool. I'm going to do the gray area over here. I'll do her ear. Her other ear. And she's gray right there. Like that. And I'm going to hit copy and paste. And then to show you what this is going to look like, I'm just going to turn off the background and turn off the cat. And you can see we have the outline of her ears now. So I'm going to go back and do another one. I'm going to turn on the big layer. I'm going to make sure the cat layer is also turned on. I'm on our paint layer. I'm going to go to selection tool. And I'm going to do this gray area over here. Oops. And we're just cutting out the silhouette. And then I'm going to copy and paste that. And then I'm going to turn off the layer we were cutting from. And I'm going to turn off the cat layer. And now all of her gray spots are now with this painting right here. So we have part of the silhouette done. Um, I've never seen a tutorial on something like this. i just seen pictures of people who did it in real life with like actual pieces of paper. I was like, oh, I bet that would be really cool on Procreate. So then I stayed up till 3 a.m. doing this. And I loved it, and I want to show you guys. So that's how I came up with this. 
So we got those three layers. And I'm going to combine those layers since it's all from the same painting. So I'm going to combine those. So that way later, if we want to move the layer up and down, we can. Now we're going to work on the body area. This area over here, her feet and her leg. Oh, and we also want to get, we want to show the shadows so it doesn't all blend in right here. I put a little bit of dark under here to show the, the difference between the front legs and the back legs. So let's do that too. So I'm going to turn that layer back on really quick. Turn on my cat layer. I'm going to make sure I get this back layer part. Right here where it's kind of dark. And make sure you go to the selection tool. And I do that. That, copy and paste. Turn off our image layer. We're going to combine it with our other layer since it's from the same painting. There we go. Looks pretty good. And then we're going to go to the body. So for this one, I used. And I'll list um, the names of each one of these paintings that I used too. I think I used, which one did I use for this one? This one right here. I liked this one for the body area because it showed kind of the difference from the head. It gave us like that color difference from the head to the chest and the chest down and then the feet. Just to show kind of like the different lengths so it wasn't all solid right there which is why I chose this one. So I'm going to turn on the cat layer. And remember we want to duplicate these so we can keep using them for other parts without chopping up the, our image layer. So I'm going to duplicate it, turn off one. I'm going to go to this and I'm going to move this a little bit until I get it right where I want it, which is about right there. I'm going to go to selection tool. And I'm going to cut out all the the white parts. I'm going to leave the head. That's going to be a different color to show that it sticks out farther. So I, and it's okay if you overlap it because we could put it underneath of our other layers here. Get her feet. Um, this cat was from somebody who posted it in one of my groups to use where I got this from. I'm going to copy and paste that and then I'm going to turn off our image layer and then I'm going to turn off the cat layer to show you. And we have that layer. So right here it's a little bit doesn't fill in. So I'm just going to go back to this layer right here. I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to go to um, warp. Uh, oh, not warp. I'm going to go to liquify. And I'm just going to pull that a little bit like that. And then I'm going to go to our layer we just created right here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll liquefy that a little bit. Fill in those gaps. Like that. Okay. Now we have our body area. Her foot right here, I want it to be kind of a different, she has a foot that sticks out. I want that to kind of be a different color than right here so you can see that it's not on the same layer. So I'm going to go to this layer. I'm gonna erase this bottom nib right here. Okay, and we're gonna use, let's say, let's use this one. Duplicate it, then turn it on. Turn on your cat layer, and for the foot, we want it to be a different color, but I kind of want it to match the blue, so I'm going to put a blue one right here, maybe like that, and I'm going to selection tool it, and for her foot right here, I'm just going to selection tool her foot, might make it stick out just a little bit more with some toes, copy and paste that, turn that off. Turn off the cat layer, and her foot sticks out. And I'm going to warp it just a little bit to get it to fit a little bit better in here. Okay, 
And then I want this to be behind this yellow part. So what I'm going to do oops, is I'm going to take her foot part that we just did. I'm going to put it underneath of the layer where her body is. So it's behind it. There we go. Now we're going to work on her face area over here. <clears throat> so you can get as detailed with these as you want. So for the face, let's see, I think I did mountain ones. Let's see. I did the green there. Let me see where it is. Ooh, I like that. So that, we're going to use that one for our background. That's one of my favorites. Right there. Here, let's do the ears. So for the ears, I used this um, ship one right here. So again, we want to duplicate it, turn on the viewing of it, turn on our cat layer, and then I also want to make it a little bit smaller. So that's why we duplicate it, so we can make it smaller and smaller without losing the whole picture if we want to use it again. And I'm going to use some of this pretty brown right here in the sand part in the ocean for the inside of her ear. <clears throat> so I'm going to put that right about there. Then I'm going to go to Selection Tool. I'm just going to select the inside of her ear over here and get some of her ear fluffs too. Then I'm going to copy and paste it. Turn that layer we used off. Turn the cat layer off. Oh. And we want to make sure that it's above everything else. So we got to take this. You want to move it above the layer where her body is to put it on top. And then I'm just going to duplicate that since her other ear is the same. So I'm going to slide it left and duplicate. Selection tool. Make sure it's on uniform. I'm going to flip it. And I'm just going to move it over here. Like that. Okay. Her ears are done. And then I'm going to do her middle of her face and her chin. And I want that to be a little bit lighter too. I'm going to combine these ears by pinching them together. So the middle of her face, I think I'm going to use um, this one right here. So I'm going to slide it left to duplicate it, turn it on. And then I'm going to put this, make sure your cat layer is on also. Or your dog layer, whatever you're doing. And I kind of want to use this green right here from the olive trees right here. I'm going to use that green for her muzzle. So I'm going to put this to where I can use it for that too. I want it to be a little bit lighter up here where it's white. So I think right here looks like a good spot. And I'm going to selection tool. And I'm going to cut out her muzzle area. And then I'm going to get her fluff. I'm going to copy and paste that. Again, turn it off, and then turn off your cat layer to see how it looks. I'm going to warp it just a little bit to fill this in. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then we got to do the under chin right here to show the different layer. So for the under chin, I'm going to go with another. I'm going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to duplicate it, turn it on. I'm going to grab it. Make sure you go back to uniform. And I kind of want to get a line right here where her head meets her body so it's not just one big blob right there. So I'm going to kind of go like this. And I'm going to cut a little bit into that. So I'm going to go to Selection Tool. I'm going to kind of go just a little bit to her fluff right over here. Like that. And copy and paste it. Turn that off. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. And then we have her chin. Right there. And then I'm going to fill in this white area right here. It needs to be filled in. So I think I might use this, this one right here. Let's duplicate it. Turn it on. Get just a little bit smaller. I might use this green right here. Right about there. And I want this to be underneath of the other layer. So I'll move that when we're done. So 
So I'm going to selection tool it. I'm going to kind of get a little bit into here. Copy and paste. Turn it off. Now I want this to be underneath of this layer over here that we did the body on. So I'm going to grab it with my finger and I'm going to drag it down until it's underneath of the body. Right there. And then just move that over a little bit. And then I'm going to warp it a little bit. So I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to use warp. I'm going to push in the side of her head right here a little bit. Just like that. Looks pretty good. Now we have the chin, the chest, the feet. And now we're going to work on, um, we need to do her nose right here and her mouth. So for that one, since this is dark green, I want to do a lighter color. So for that one, I'm going to do... I did yellow on that, but I might change it up a little bit. We could try doing, oh, let's try this one right here. Let's duplicate it again, turn it on. Selection tool, go back to uniform. And I think I might try this light color right here. Put that right there. Make sure your cat layer is turned on. Selection tool. And then I'm going to select her nose and her little mouth right here. Oops, start in the wrong spot. Go, mouth, nose, like that. Copy and paste it. Turn that off. Turn the cat layer off. And this has to be on top of the layer where that is. Okay, so now we have her little nose right here. I'm going to warp it a little bit, make it fit just a little bit better, like that. Okay, she has her nose. I think she might need a nostril though. So I'm just going to go back to this green one right here, and I'm going to select the little nostril. I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to go to Uniform, and this has to be above that layer we just made. So hold your finger and drag it up. And I'm going to put her nose over here. And I'm going to warp it to a cat nose. Like that. And move it over. Now I'm just going to duplicate that. Selection tool. Flip it and put the same thing over here. Like that. Okay. Now we have her nose done and her mouth. We're going to go to her eyes. So for her eyes, I did the yellow back... I did three different pictures. I did the yellow background an olive tree and then the pupil. So I'm going to go back to the yellow picture over here. And I'm going to duplicate it, turn it on, select it, and I'm going to put it over here like this. Make sure you have your cat layer turned or your pet portrait layer turned on. I do a lot of dogs so I decided to do a cat this time. I do have three cats of my own, so I do like cats. <laughs> I just always tend to do the dogs. So, we've got our layer right here. And I'm going to selection tool with the whole eye. Copy and paste. Turn our big layer off. And we're going to turn the cat layer off. And then we're going to make sure we move this. Make it big enough. Okay. Now, this needs to be over top of this blue layer because the other side is going to be the same. So we're just going to drag this all the way up top. Just so it's over top of all the other layers. Like that. And I think it needs to be a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to turn on the cat layer. Then I'm going to slide left and duplicate this. And I'm going to flip it and I'm going to put it right over here by the side too. Maybe just a little bit bigger just so it stands out a little bit more. All right. Now we're going to go to the pup this part right here, the eye color. And for that one I used this, um, this one right here. So I'm going to slide left, duplicate it, turn it on. And then I'm going to drag this over here. Let's put this over the yellow layer. Here. Oh, right underneath of it. There we go. Now I want to use 
the green part in it, but I also want to get some texture. So I'm going to put a little bit of the flowers in there too. Right about there. Then I'm going to selection, turn the cat, cat on. I'm going to selection tool. And this is our yellow layer, so I want this layer to be a little bit on the inside. Like that. Copy and paste it. Then we're going to turn these layers off. Again, this has to go over the yellow now. Like that. And her eyes, cat eyes are a little bit more pointy, so I'm just going to point it out just a little bit. Like that. Again, I'm going to duplicate this. Selection tool, I'm going to go back to uniform, flip it, and put it over here. Make this one a little smaller. Like that. Oh, I did not make these very even, did I? So let's see here. I'm going to delete these two. I'm going to combine these two together, and I'm going to duplicate it and flip it over here. That way it's a little bit more even. Put that one right there. Right. Now we need to do the pupils and the eyes. So for that one, I'm going to do the blue one. I'm going to do the starry night again. So I'm going to turn this one on since it's already duplicated. Oops. Where did that one go? Here it is. Select it. Then I'm going to just cut out some pupils. So I want them to be kind of small but with texture. So I'm just going to stick it over here. And I'm going to pick out a spot and I'm going to cut out a pupil. Cat pupils are kind of pointy, so unless they're really dilated, but hers are kind of pointy. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And then I make sure this is above all of our other layers. So I'm going to slide that all the way up here above our eyes. I'm going to grab that. And then I'm going to put this over here. Turn on our cat layer so we can see the pupils are really pointy. Make it a little bit smaller. Like that. Warp it. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to turn off the cat layer and I'm going to turn off that layer we just used. Like that. So now she has her pupils. And I'm going to duplicate that pupil. Select it. Flip it, go back to uniform, and stick it over here in her eye. Over here. Like that. Okay, now we have our actual pet portrait done, and we're just going to add the background to it really quick. So for the background, this is two different paintings that I, I just like the way it popped. So I used, let's see, which one did I use? I used this one, so I'm going to duplicate it, turn it on. I'm going to leave that one where it is. And then I'm going to, I also, I didn't like how it blended in with the bottom down here. So I used the grassy one, which I should know the names of these, but I don't. I'm going to duplicate it, turn it on. And then I just selection tooled the grass part like that, and I copied and pasted it. And then I turned off the main image. And then we want these to be underneath of all the other layers. So I'm gonna drag it all the way down. Same thing with the other one. This one, drag it all the way down so it's underneath of all the other layers. And we also want it to be underneath of our grass layer. Okay, and there we go. We have our Van Gogh pet portrait and paper collage. Again, you can use any kind of digital papers you want to use. I just decided to use these ones. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.